you know, we had the matrix operator added finally. That was a missing element for many, many years. So that's a bit of drama around how did matrix operator get added. And Nathaniel Smith made that happen as an ambassador. What do you do? Sneak into the repo at night and slip it in there? Or? Well, no, 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 exactly. He didn't. Like, so I'll tell you how it works. Like you have to actually go into these communities, whether it's a Discord channel, a public discuss channel now, you spend hours basically talking to people, helping them understand why it's important, answering their questions, because a lot of them are coming from a space of, I don't know why this is important, and then kind of, so therefore I'm negative about it. And as the language matures, of course, it gets harder and harder. Early on, the affect was, okay, I don't know about this, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a plus zero. So Python, this sort of story of negative one, negative zero, plus zero, plus one emerged. You know, the early community said, okay, here's how we're going to vote on things, <laughs> right? Plus one or minus one, but you can also do a plus zero or minus zero, which is kind of, oh, I don't really care, but I'm leaning one way or the other. So help differentiate the different ways people might feel about it. That's interesting. It is actually very, it's very useful. And a lot of people use that actually to help kind of navigate this, you know, a lot of people are paying attention, a lot of bike shed people, but like, who really cares? Like, if you don't really care, why are we listening to your voice, <laughs> right? <laughs> 